life. It's the most precious gift we have. It's also what the RNLI exists to save at sea. Every day of every week, our volunteer crews rescue an average of 21 people. People like Gordon, Christian Caroline, and Michael. This year, our NLI crews could be saving you, or someone you love. Year on year, we rescue more than 7,000 people. And over the years, that number keeps on rising. And so too do the costs. Rescue doesn't come cheap, and it doesn't happen by accident. It takes skill and courage to turn casualties into survivors. It takes something else too, training. Training can make the difference between life and death. We've got an answer to that. Train one, save many. A trained crew member can serve for 20, 30 years, respond to hundreds of call-outs, and save dozens of lives. Train one, save many. But training costs money, more and more each year. It's a cost we simply have to meet, but can only do so with your donations. Because without training, it might not just be us left dead in the water. On occasions beyond number, since our foundation in 1824, lifeboat crews have responded to the call at a moment's notice, risking their lives to save others. Sometimes call-outs can be almost straightforward, and sometimes they're not. Around the coastline of Britain and Ireland, we have 4,500 crew volunteers, serving 233 lifeboat stations. We've lifeguards on beaches, too. Last year, our beach lifeguards in the West Country saved 53 lives, responded to 1,300 major incidents. Their training, too, is constant, demanding. It, too, pays out the biggest dividend of all. Each volunteer knows that when the pager goes off, it may be their turn to risk their life for a stranger. Day in, day out, 365 days a year, our crews meet that challenge with skill and selfless courage. In fog and snow, in winter storm and summer calm, they are committed to saving others. And so we are committed to them, not just in words, but in deeds too by ensuring that those who volunteer to place themselves in harm's way do so, backed up by the best possible training that money, your money, can buy. For the RNLI is a charity. 99% of our money comes not from government, but from the heart, from you, the public. Yet that is our pledge, our duty of care to those who man our lifeboats, to give them the best possible training, the best possible chance. We ask a lot of them. Finding that money for their training is the least we can ask of ourselves and of you.